Table toppers, Arsenal host West Ham from 8 o'clock. Joining us now, a man that has played for both sides, former defender, Matthew Upson. Matthew, good morning. How are you? Morning, Matthew. Good, Matthew. good morning, guys. How are we doing? All right? Yeah, we're good. Yes, we're all well, good. thank you. Very and all good. very much looking forward to the return of the Premier League. Um, yeah. Arsenal, your former side, let's start with them first. Mm-hmm. Goodness me, what a season they've had already. Five points clear at the top of the table. Do you think they can pick up where they left off and just continue the run that they started? Well, I, I think if they are going to do that, they've got quite a, a, a tricky fixture in terms of the matchup of style um, and what Arsenal historically have struggled to cope with a little bit. But they've put that right this season. And I think in terms of the 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 grit of the game and, to, and and defending set pieces and doing the ugly things that they've done that a lot lot better as a team and they're a lot harder to play against so um i think it's possible they can obviously the the the, the loss of uh, jesus for a period of time is a massive hammer blow um because that all starts from that area of the pitch it starts from the front um, and I don't think they've got another player who's as good out of possession as what he is. It sounds daft, he's a centre forward, but you know one of his main contributions to that team is how good he is without the ball, and and he sets off the press and and how hard he works. So that that's going to be a big challenge for Mikel Arteta um, to fill that void or play a little bit differently um, with Enketia, just just to kind of you know be a goal threat. But maybe if he can adopt that kind of style as well, that'd be interesting. One thing I would say, Matthew, has been quite clear. I mean, look, their heart, heart of their defence with Saliba in there and Gabriel, Gabriel there. You know, their two last away victories in the Premier League, one to uh, winning at Chelsea and then winning at Wolves, the final game before the World Cup break, is yeah. that this team is way more solid than it. You know, certainly going back even to the end of last season. Yeah, no, I, I completely agree. It's, it's the one thing that's put Arsenal at the, at the top of the tree at the moment. Um, you know, we can look at, at goals and attacking play, which I think has got a lot, lot better. You've got midfield players now arriving in the box. Shaka all of a sudden uh, uh, looks like he can arrive and score goals. Martinelli's hit form. But I completely agree with that. The one thing that has put them there are these kind of fixtures against the West Ham, against the Brentford, where there's a physical threat, there's a set-piece threat. Um, and I think they've, they've coped with all different types of pressure really well. So that if they can get back into that mindset, if Mikel Arteta can get those players back in that, that zone of where they're thinking like that, then I think they can continue a good runner for them. Matt, do you think you'll be going to the board and saying, look, we've got a problem here with Jesus? You know, he's, yeah. he, he is our, um, like you said, he stops. He's the first line of defence as well as, you know, he's not, he's not scoring goals, but he does the other side of it brilliantly. Do you think they'll sign another striker? I mean, I I think it all depends on on whether or not the right players available. Being, if I'm honest, I, th- mm. I don't think they're the type of club that are just going to go and get someone because they need to fill a hole for 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 six weeks or eight weeks or whatever it is. I think, you know, I, I may be wrong. They may they may just go and get a stopgap. Depends what the market is and and what type of player Mikel Arteta wants. And I think if, for those things, that's why these type of signings are always difficult for me because the planning that goes into getting the right player is quite deep, isn't it? Mm. So when you're reactive like this, it can always be a dangerous, dangerous area. So whether or not they'll take that that, that gamble to a degree, we'll have to wait and see. Well, you, you're spot on, Matthew, because like transfers now are so detailed yeah. and there's so much effort put in to make sure he fits and ticks every box. And I think that was a standout feature from Arsenal over their last transfer activity this summer and before. Yeah, Tom, I mean, you, you can sign the wrong player and it can, it can become an actually real negative to the group, can't it? When yeah. you're talking about what, what's made Arsenal better, the, the, the teamwork, the working for each other, you, you know, you get the wrong t- mindset of player in or the character of player wrong. And all of a sudden you've got, you, you know, you've, you've, you've dealt yourself a problem. I think, Matt, with Arsenal, over the, pe- over the period of the last five years, maybe, they've been ripped off in the transfer market non-stop, signing players oh. with talent, with no real character. I think not not really playing for the Arsenal shirt, just turning up. And they've ended up wasting so much money. I think Arteta's best move when he got rid of Aubameyang yeah. and that the young players at the club are going, well, hang on a minute, you, you know, you can't turn up late for training, you can't be looking the other way when the manager's talking. And he's he's gone to the board and said, look, I'm going to lose my, my centre forward. I, I might cost us games because I'm getting rid of him. But for the long-term future of the club, We've now got the rest of the players on board with me and, and I think it was a great move for him. But like you said, 
you can't Man United have done it you sign players and you think I'll get him I'll get him 100 million 50 million and they they turn up with the wrong attitude yeah no I completely agree and I think that they've shown that what you've just just described there is more valuable than having that that key player isn't it that player that we all think is is going to change a game if they're not in the right mentality and the right character then it, it's detrimental. And I think Arsenal is quite unique for Arsenal because they've been hurt by those players that have already been at the club, haven't they? I mean, a lot of those issues they've had have been with players that they've re-signed on big contracts. Mm. We think of Ozil, Sanchez, Aubameyang. They're players that were already there, proved their worth, signed the contract and then had problems. So I think that, that was a difficult one for them to foresee uh, in that way because they've seen a side to that player that was quite outstanding. Um, and then it, it went wrong. So they've had to recover from that, and I think they've, they've made good choices of late. Talk Sport Breakfast, waking you up Monday to Friday morning from 6 a.m. on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.